using what we've just seen, if I give you any old table, so for example, this one, we can recognize a linear pattern by saying, well, each time we go down a row, we add 5 to the x value, we add negative 3 to the y value. How would we check that? Well, we'd just take each y and subtract it from the next one. Let's say we want to write an equation describing this relationship. Well, we know we can write this in the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the ratio change in y to change in x. In this example, the change in y is negative 3, and the change in x is 5. So much for m. b is the number that is the value of y when x is 0. So in this example, b is 7. OK. We can write the equation for this table y is change in y over change in x is negative 3 fifths x plus 7. Does that equation really give us this table? Let's see how we can use the calculator to check. I'll enter negative 3 fifths x plus 7. I look at my table. x is 0, y is 7. x is 5, y is 4. x is 10, y is 1. x is 15, y is negative 2. x is 20, y is negative 5 x is 25, y is negative 8. That really does work. Right? This equation really does give me this table. Let's see one of those first linear tables that we met. This is the story from the previous video in which a company was shipping goods by truck and we could easily come up with a table relating their costs. How can we come up with an equation? Remember we said that the number m is the ratio, well here our dependent variable is c, so change in c, and our independent variable is g. So we'll have, well, the change in C in each row is 1. The change in G is 3. OK, that was easy. What about the number B? That's the value of the dependent variable when the independent variable is 0. So in this case, the number B is 35. Our equation should be cost is one-third times the tons of goods plus 35. Using the calculator we can check, so C the calculator thinks that's Y. The calculator thinks every dependent variable is called Y. That's one-third the calculator thinks every independent variable is called x plus 35. And here we see x is 0, y is 35, x is 3, y is 36, 
x is 6, y is 37, x is 9, y is 38, the same values that we saw in our table. So that really did work. What's the advantage of having the equation? Well, now I can ask the question, how much will it cost to ship 297 tons of goods? And the answer is 1 third times 297 plus 35. And we see it'll cost $134,000. We would not have wanted to figure that out by extending this table all the way down to 134,000.